Welcome back to the Breakdown Tech. Today we're going to be talking about whether or not you should buy DDR3 RAM in 2018. And before you click off the video, I know this is kind of obvious but it really isn't. There are many use cases where you might want to buy DDR3 RAM over DDR4 RAM, and we're going to be running through those in this video. Before we get on into it though, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel, as well as check out the breakdown.xyz slash RAM. That will take you over to Amazon where you can buy all sorts of DDR3 and DDR4 RAM uh, of your choosing. So yeah, let's get on into it. Now as we know, RAM prices over the past two years have skyrocketed, went through the flipping roof, and honestly it seems like there's no end in sight. So it's something we need to think about when it comes to saving money. Is DDR3 at the end of the day better than DDR4 for that? In that regard, no. It's best to just stick with DDR4 in that case because guess what? It's going to give you more longevity. However, what if you don't necessarily care about longevity? Or let's say it's not necessarily needed. Maybe you're building a home entertainment media PC. You're not going to be gaming on it. You're just going to be watching some movies on your TV. Well, if that's the case and that's what you're doing, then there's there's really no need for DDR4 RAM, and it can save you quite a bit of money by going with DDR3. Not the RAM itself, it's actually relatively the same price, but the rest of the hardware that goes along with DDR3. For example, a motherboard that supports DDR3 and just DDR3 and a processor that would go in a motherboard that's like that a little bit older is going to be significantly cheaper than, say, everything brand freaking new. You don't need a copy leg processor in a home media system if you're not going to game on. It, and hell, you probably don't need it if you are. So that's the thing. If you want to save money, you're not going to be saving money on the RAM itself, but you're going to be saving money on everything around the RAM. Now, with that being said, what about DDR5? Well, DDR5 isn't supposed to come out until 2020-ish, so there's no reason to wait around for that. If you're wanting to build a system now, use DDR4 and go with it. And that's the thing. Most of the time, you want to use DDR4 RAM. But if you have a very specific use case where DDR3 is going to be fine, it can save you money. For example, a home network system, right? A NAS storage system that you're building yourself. Well, guess what? You don't need DDR4 RAM in that typically, so you can run DDR3. However, if you're building, let's say, a super nice brand spanking new gaming PC, you're going to have to go with DDR4 because you're going to be using a newer platform and it's just going to make more sense. You don't want to bottleneck yourself with RAM at all. So don't count out DDR3 yet. Some of you may say, Nick, this is a stupid video, yada, 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 but I just want to make you guys think. PC prices are way too high right now and we have to get inventive. We have to think and sometimes going with DDR3 and a platform that's a little bit older that's going to only run DDR3 is going to be cheaper for certain use cases. Sure, it doesn't make sense for gaming. That's why I've never recommended DDR3 RAM for gaming or for tons of multi-threaded crazy video editing Twitch streaming setups. But if you have specific use cases and I can really think of tons guys. Home media systems have already mentioned. NAS systems, I've already mentioned. Just general word processing machines, say for your sister so she can do her score. That doesn't need DDR4 RAM. You can save a lot of money on an older platform. Even development systems that are just going to be used for programming don't necessarily have to be hardcore machines. A lot of times they are, but they don't really have to be. Especially if you're doing web design and web development things like that, you don't need a super killer system usually. And I speak from experience on this. So you can run DDR3 three with no problem and again build everything on an older platform and save some money. You've got to get inventive if you want to build a PC these days and not blow the budget, right? I mean, if you have unlimited money for your system, go ham. DDR4, 2180 Ti's, i7 8700K or better, go with an i9, guys. But if you're like most people and you have a budget that you're building on, you've got to consider your end use case. Don't go all out when you don't need to because you can save a lot of money by using older generation hardware and that's really what we're talking about. At the end of the day, DDR4 is better than DDR3 but if it can save you some money using DDR3, you might want to do it unless you're say doing a gaming build that you're going to want to upgrade over the next six years or doing something like a high-end video editing rig that's going to need the extra performance DDR4 can provide. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'm sure some of you will call me an idiot and disagree with me, but I know there's some of you out there that will go, yeah, that makes sense. So let me know your opinions down below. I'm really interested in that. Either way, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or a dislike if you didn't. I understand. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown and I'm out, guys. Peace.